between the time when the oceans drank Atlantis and the, and the rise of the sons of Arius, there was an age undreamed of. A time of steel and sorcery. A time of mighty adventures and mysticism. This is the story of one of those said adventures. This is the story of Red Sonia into the exiled lands. It begins with a busy tavern in the heart of an unknown and long forgotten city. Red Sonia, known as a great warrior, maybe even the greatest warrior of her time, sits enjoying her ale after a long day of travel. After some time, a powerful nobleman would approach Sonia, and he would sit across from her at her table. He said, You must be the great Red Sonia. I've heard many tales of your deeds. I am Lord Azrael, and I am Need of your services. She paused and looked across the table, quickly scanning the room. She spotted his four guards and looked the nobleman over. She could tell the nobleman was once a great warrior. Once, but long ago. I am listening, she replied. Have you heard of the exiled lands, he asked. Myths probably lies, Red Sonia replied. Azrael replied, I assure you that the myths are very real. A prison surrounded by a barrier of magic to prevent anyone from escaping, she asked. Yes, and I ask you to go there and investigate more about the prison and its barrier. You will be compensated greatly. Sounds interesting. And that beat sitting around here, she replied. Good, let us drink and celebrate, Azrael said, as he called over one of his men. The guard ran over to the tavern bar and fetched two glasses of the tavern's best wine from the tavern keeper, and he would sit them on the table. Azrael would slide one of those glasses over to Sonya. And he picked up the other one, raised the glass in the air, and said a toast to our very promising partnership. Sonia would pick up her glass and take a drink. And at that moment, she noticed that he did not take a drink from his glass. She would stand quickly and kick over the table and draw her sword. She felt hazy, and Azrael would stand and step back from the table. Still resistant, I see, he said. No matter. The drug and the wine will soon won't take much longer. Guards, seize her, he yelled. The guards would draw their swords, and she would lash out at them, killing all four of them. More guards entered the tavern as the ruckus continued. She saw them and prepared to fight them, but she would soon succumb to the drug. She would later awake, the sun beating on her skin. It was hot. She had her armor, but not her sword. She also noticed a glowing bracelet on her wrist. She looked around and saw nothing but desert wasteland. I am in the exiled land, she thought. I must find a way out of here. She gathered herself and went on a warpath through the exiled lands, killing men and beasts alike. She found a city and even encountered Conan at that city. She would tell him of her story of how she ended up in the Exiled Lands, and he even agreed to help her get out of the Exiled Lands. But that is a tale for another time. So anyway, folks, this was just a video I kind of did for fun. I'm getting ready to do a playthrough series of Conan Exiles, and this was kind of like... Just kind of share some headcanon of how Red Sonia ended up at the Exiled Lands and the betrayal and everything else. And uh, pretty much her adventure of why she wants to get out because she needs vengeance. Anyway, folks, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to see my game through through series of Conan Exiles with Red Sonia, it's going to kind of be like a cross of just some gameplay and 
kind of a tutorial to show you the different locations of where to get the different items in the exiled lands more than welcome to check that series out don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see that also like and share this video the more interest i can get in to this series as well as other video series i'm doing on my youtube channel would be greatly appreciated anyway folks hopefully you all enjoyed the video and kind of enjoyed me reading off a really short story i wrote anyway folks thanks again for tuning in and have yourself a wonderful day.